Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my first episode of monthly journal series. But before I get started, I will explain a little bit of where I'm coming from and like how I want to structure the series. And if you want to drive right into the video, I will put the time card right here. But I really hope that if you got a minute, please hear me out. My channel has always been sharing things in my life that I really love, whether it's my vlogs, YouTube favorites, or cooking, or a product that I use, or just you know, I've done something like this before where uh, I share my monthly favorites but as time goes by, I kind of want to do something more than that. I want to make it more like a journal, like a diary where you also share a lot of emotions and feelings. I am a very emotional person as you can tell. When I encounter some specific occasions, I will think about it and it will kind of internalize into my own perspective and I kind of want to share my perspective with you guys and I hope that it would help some of you who encountered similar situations or if you are very confused about the situation maybe my experience will be able to help you also if you have similar experiences you can also comment down below and just kind of like an open community where everyone is kind to each other and we just share our stories and how we deal with it but at the end of the day just think of it as a journal second things I want to talk about is why I make this English first of all you guys seem to like the video of me speaking English which I'm very very blessed because I know that English is not everyone's cup of tea and I would love to create the content that we can all share the common interest on and second I just personally love English I started loving like speaking and using English since I was in college and I still hold that passion since I'm not living in a English speaking environment I figured that it will be a great opportunity for me to practice my English all right I'm done talking about the intro and let's get into the June journal so first of all I want to answer a question that I got asked so much and that is what's the background music for my ending scene this is actually from a fellow youtuber uh, she has a music channel where she does like covers and she also has original songs and stuff like that and her name is Rennie Dominic I think this is how we pronounced it um, she is very talented I fell in love with her channel like immediately I subscribe and I listen to her music and I just found the click because they kind of match the vibe that I want to present I used the song of her covering can take my eyes off you and I highly encourage everyone to check out her channel and just subscribe because she's so talented her music is amazing I also put all the information about the tools equipment and music that I use in the description box so make sure to check it out if you have any questions second thing is a little bit more sad but I want to talk about it anyway earlier last month which is June um, I lost my grandpa this was very hard on my family because we know that this will happen someday but we just didn't expect it to happen at that moment like I love my grandpa we even share the same birthday like what a chance, right? I want to share a feeling that I got throughout the whole thing. I'm very surprised that I didn't feel very sad or not as intense. Like I definitely feel very, very sad. He's my grandpa. Of course I'll feel sad. I was very confused about why I feel that way. Looking back, I was born and raised in Taipei. My grandparents, they live in like middle or southern part of Taiwan. We only go back once a year and like a day or two maximum. It's normal that I don't feel the attachment to my grandparents as you know other cousins do. I don't know if anyone have ever felt this way. If you encounter similar situations, which I hope you don't, but if you do, I just want to say it's normal. If you don't share as much common memories as others, it is okay to feel less emotional. The relationship between two people needs to be practiced it needs to be established if the connection was never established very strongly tighted bonded it's normal that we don't feel that much of emotion when this happened just be real with yourself and embrace how you feel hi guys uh, uh, I want to talk about my YouTube channel. June is when my 
channel gets a little more growth i was very very confused but i'm also very very happy i started thinking what content should i put on youtube i know what video people might want to see more and some are not for example vlogs vlogs is my favorite type of video to film because it's so memorable and i i just love it but i also know that not everyone is interested in vlogs and they might like like this it's a sit down video i came to the conclusions where it's about being happy making videos because I want to make this channel a closely bonded community which means that I want to be original, authentic, and real with you guys this is an outlet for me to express my feelings it was like that, it is right now, and it will be in the future Okay,对,我又回来了 <laughs> Alright, enough talking about YouTube. Now I want to talk about my camera. So in June, I started vlogging on my new camera, which is my Canon M50. I was trying to get an M6, but then the person kind of convinced me to get an M50. So I figured this would be the best camera for me because I vlog a lot. I also got my microphone and my light. So I hope that the quality of the video has improved. Please comment below of what do you think so yeah this is what it looks like and yeah this is my setting <laughs> it's my makeup bag and i have a tripod and everything like that i think i like this one more than my sony rx 100v because it has the plug where i can put the microphone it's a touch screen it's a freaking touch screen guys i'm very satisfied with my purchase i might upgrade to like a really big dslr camera in the future it depends on how my channel has grown and if i have the money to buy the camera yes and last but not least i have a new hobby so okay i was someone who doesn't understand why people play gotcha because all my co-workers has a ton of them on their desk and i didn't know why so when we went out i see them playing the gotcha and i was like why this doesn't make any sense it's a waste of money blah 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 but then I started getting into it okay so last time when I went to Japan I played gocha for the first time which I will have a video coming up for you but basically I just got a bunch of like these in this one I have a couple more but that's not necessary I just want to share with you that I got a new interest which is playing gocha and that concludes my June journal I feel like June has been a pretty surprising and challenging month for me just so many things and different emotions that happen during this month i'm very excited for what's more to come in july i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you do please give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you can leave a comment below of what you think about the series whether you want to see it or not let me know and i guess i will see you guys in my next video Pardon bye the oh my God, that is so long. there's nothing else to compare Side of you leaves me weak. There are no words left to speak. I'm done. Okay, so I'm done. Feel like I feel. Please.